Okay, question three. Um, again, the same as last time, we can't add fractions if the denominators are different. So right here we've got a four and we've got a three. So what we need to do is we need to have a common denominator. So we've got three over four plus one over three. Now the way we do this is that we multiply the first fraction by the other denominator. So we do three lots of three and three lots of four. So what we've done there is we've made them the same by multiplying the first fraction by the second denominator. So three lots of three is nine. Three lots of four is twelve. So the first one goes to nine over twelve. Now what we do is we multiply the second fraction by the first denominator. So we're going to do four lots of one and four lots of three. So that's the second fraction by the first denominator. So four lots of one is going to be four. Four lots of three is going to be 12. And now we've got a common denominator. So the final bit, once both denominators are the same, we add the numbers together, keeping the denominator the same. So four plus, so nine plus four equals 13. And we keep the bottom the same, which is 12. Now for those people that want to extend this, we can actually say that 13 over 12, well there are 12 twelfths, or yeah, 12 twelfths in a whole one. So that's going to be one whole one, and we've got one left over. So even though you don't need to, to get it correct, you can write 13 over 12 as one, and then one twelfth. Okay, now you guys have a go at question three.